Welcome back to the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. In this segment, we will continue our conversation with Ms. Shi Fang Liu, who is the Managing Director of the 2009 Kaohsiung War Game Organizing Committee. Shi Fang, I'm going to start off this segment okay. talking about some of the more troubling aspects of holding such an international event. Mm -hmm. First, regarding the international political reality. We know that Taiwan has always been, you know, uh, you know, in terms of trying to host an international event, whether it's a sporting event or non-sporting event. Mm -hmm. you know, we all have to deal with the intimidation and the pressure tactics from Beijing. Mm -hmm. uh, we understand for the 2009 World Games in Kaohsiung, we will follow the IOC model. That's right. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about how that model, you know, came about to be applied to the World Games in Kaohsiung this year? Thank you to bring me uh, the uh, discussion of this issue. I think yes. it's very important. So I would thank you that our uh, staff, not just only in local government, but also central government, they try to very hard to overcome this mm -hmm. kind of uh, political issues yes. ahead of uh, World Game 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2006, mm -hmm. I think we already signed the contract with IWGA that uh, anything deal with the uh, na uh, national um, delegation mm -hmm. that we will follow uh, the IOC rule. Okay. I think everybody understand that the World Games is not the same as uh, Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. So we don't have any national delegation. Mm -hmm. We only have qualified athletes. Yes. Although those qualified athletes, it will come from more than 90 countries. Uh, more than 90 countries? Yes, of okay. the world. All right. So when we want to have uh, opening ceremony, mm -hmm. and this kind of uh, model, we will follow the IOC model, which okay. is uh, International Olympic Committee, okay. which is in Taiwan. Okay. We only have a Chinese Taipei Olympic Committee, yes. which is CTOC. Yes. So no matter what will be happen uh -huh. uh, in the opening ceremony and in the closing ceremony, the delegation from Taiwan gonna yes. have the flag okay. of CTOC only. Okay. And the reason, but not the national flag. No, okay. no, there's no. And okay. I think uh, not only um, the ruling party, but okay. also the opposition party, they all understand the whole situation. Yes. And I think it's very uh, happy that because this kind of a model, which has been uh, performed one time, which is one year ago in Beijing Olympic Games, so I don't see this will be our political troublesome mm -hmm. in July. Okay, and also we know that you know, we're living in the world of uh, a lot of drama and a lot of uh, apprehension mm -hmm. you know, concerning especially anti-terrorism. Right. Uh, when you hold such a you know, huge international event in Taiwan, mm -hmm. uh, of course that consideration also comes into the decision-making process. That's right. We, uh, you know, we gather that uh, you have been uh, very intimately involved in terms of providing the necessary measures and provisions mm -hmm. uh, to uh, on the anti-terrorism front. Yes. Can you give us some of the, your experience in this area and some mm -hmm. of the provisions, you know, as far as you can tell to the public, mm -hmm. that uh, some of the provisions that are being employed mm -hmm. for the 2009 World Games in Kaohsiung? Thank you very much. I think uh, the World Game um, 2009 mm -hmm. is a multi-sports uh, event, yes. which whole of the Taiwanese uh, never been experienced. No. So although we know the size will be up to uh, 10,000 mm -hmm. people, but we don't know how to prevent the yes. security or the safety of those athletes, mm -hmm. as well as the international visitors. Yes. So when we find out what can we prepare for the security plan, mm -hmm. I think I'm very proud of our uh, police stations uh, yes. in Kaohsiung or in Taiwan. They are mm -hmm. so good uh, yeah. to, you know, uh, they are uh, well trained, so yes. there's no problem. But how about the information or mm -hmm. the intelligence exchange from exactly. some other uh, international community? Mm -hmm. So when I took this job, I tried to contact with the American. Mm -hmm. I would try to contact with somebody who is in charge of Beijing Olympic. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, I know the chief staff of Kaohsiung uh, Police Station, they mm -hmm. already visit the Beijing city government. Okay. And they already visit the Australian, which they have the 2000 uh, 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 Sydney. Olympic, uh, yes. Sydney 2000 yes. Olympic Games. Yes. And for those intelligence and information, uh, I mean, I, I was concerned on the area of those terrorists. Yes. Because last uh, three months, we know some uh, 
happened, something happened in mm -hmm. uh, Bombay, India, yes. Yes. Uh, in Sri Lanka, yes. just happened last month. Mm -hmm. So how can we prevent those sus suspicious, you know, terrorists? Mm -hmm. They might be mingled with the uh, athletes yes. or officials or maybe the international visitors yes. and try to destroy or try to uh, you know, disturb yes. the security of uh, Kaohsiung uh, City for this World Game 2009. Mm -hmm. So I think we already try to set up those kind of networks to mm -hmm. ask them if we can have those information or intelligence uh, uh, news uh, right ahead, mm -hmm. then we, we would stop them, you know, not just let them come to the World Games. Mm -hmm. And because we provide a kind of uh, uh, special treatment for those yes. athletes, yes. which is visa exam. Okay. I mean, all the athletes or extras, yes. if they have our invitation, official invitation letter, yes. all they have to do just show their passport. Show, show the passport yeah. for the valid ID, okay. and they can come to you know our immigration office directly okay. without any visa applications. Okay. So for this convenience, we have to well prepare for the security and the national Precisely. you know, uh, you know yeah. safety at all. Yes. So I'm very um, confident about it because our friends yes. over Hong Kong, yes. of uh, uh, American, yes. they can help us yes. at this point. Yeah, and also this is a very important regional and That's also right. international event. Yeah. So I think it's very important for Taiwan to be part of the international intelligence network. Yes. You know, especially other countries, maybe like United States, will have more or experiences in the past of host, you know, hosting such an international event. Right. We can certainly learn from them. Yes. But on the other hand, Shi Fang, another issue is we all know that Taiwan is not a full-fledged democracy. You know, our people speak freely. Uh, we voice different opinions. We are and, young uh, democracy. Yes. But uh, we certainly you know, enjoy the freedom. You mm -hmm. know the rights to you know differences of opinion and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we host the World Games in Kaohsiung this year. Mm -hmm. I understand that this is something that they didn't have in Beijing Olympics last year was the fact that we will have regulations and provisions you know, protecting the protesters mm -hmm. you know, who might be you know, on site expressing differences of opinion on certain issues, on certain person or on certain country. Mm -hmm. you know, can you tell us a little bit about the plans and the provisions that you have prepared for protest you know, not that we are you know, asking for people to protest, but in case people want to express a different opinion, how will they, you know, their rights be protected, and also the rights of the spectators and the athletes be protected in the process? Right. Uh, I think everybody understands that uh, Taiwan is not the same as um, China. Mm -hmm. We are young democracy. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody enjoy the uh, dynamic of a democratization process in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So we. Uh, the country is ruled by law. Mm -hmm. We do have the law for this, you know, people if they want to have, uh, you know, their uh, protest at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. So we will try to set up a special area, mm -hmm. special zone for mm -hmm. those people if they want to speak it out because okay. we uh, respect the freedom of speech. Yes. Uh, so uh, I think we have a good uh, communication with IWGA. They okay. understand the whole situation. Okay. So no matter what kind of a uh, protest, okay. which is political or non-political, okay. we will just follow the rule. Okay. And also, um, we are not the same as uh, China is because we don't ask the military police no. you know, come to the uh, <laughs> yeah. war game 2009. No, we no. only ask the local policemen. Mm -hmm. They have to respect the human rights okay. and they have to respect the freedom of speech okay. in Taiwan. Okay. So I think they try to prepare all those atmosphere yes. for the war game 2009. And okay. I think it's healthy yes. uh, to tell the people of Taiwan that if you have something to say, just say it out. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and also uh, we understand this is, you know, World Game is an uh, athletic competition. Right. But also uh, this is a very important international event. That's right. For not just the city of Kaohsiung, but for Taiwan mm -hmm. as a whole. And I want to, you know, ask you maybe before the segment ends, is that uh, what are some of the things that the Kaohsiung city mm -hmm. has now prepared mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, for the visitor, for the athletes and their friends and families, when they visit Kaohsiung, mm -hmm. they can also you know, participate in, you know, after or in addition 
to the games that are being played in the World Games. This is something very important because yes. we have to try to attract more and more visitors from some other international community. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we will have a kind of a World Game Plaza. Okay. Which is a, a mini, uh, it's kind of a, a mini uh, uh, exposition. Okay. We will have over 20 countries to okay. have their country club. Okay. And uh, we will provide different of uh, uh, local features, okay. even the food or mm -hmm. cultural or mm -hmm. different kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, specialty for the visitors, mm -hmm. not just to you know watch the games, mm -hmm. the competition, but mm -hmm. they can stay here. Okay. And the area we design for this uh, World Game Plus are going to be on Love River. Okay. Island. <laughs> yes. The river it's beautiful. side. Yes. Yeah, the river side of Love River, and uh, there were lots of uh, performance, yes. not just local dancing, maybe singing or a different kind of a cultural activity. Okay. And for the visitors, uh, they come uh, with the delegation or with the athletes. Uh -huh. We will. Uh, love to introduce them to see the different um, uh, cultural activity among South and Taiwan. Yes. Not just in Kaohsiung City, but okay. Kaohsiung County or Pintong County. Neighboring Yes, places. and yes. as far as I know, one of the particular uh, tribe, uh, yes. which is Punong tribe, okay. they uh, will invite the VIP guest okay. to their tribe uh, uh, ceremony okay. for this local activity. I okay. think it's very interesting. Yes, certainly from your comments, Shifang, you gave me additional incentives to come to Kaohsiung during the games <laughs> in July. <laughs> certainly looking forward to it. And uh, uh, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back to the Taiwan Outlook and we'll continue this conversation with Shifang Liu, who is the Managing Director of the 2009 Kaohsiung World Game Organizing Committee. I'll see you in two minutes. Thank <laughs> you.